I let you guys talk me into it. Mom joined in as well. Guys, never in my life have I been a spooky or scary movie type of person. But for y'all, we're going to give it a go. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Rob Squad's Home Theater with your boy, Jay. And your girl, Amber. And y'all, I am so happy that you convinced him to watch something mm. spooky, you know, to get into the spirit, get into the season, because he will never watch scary movies with me. Don't do it. I think you, the only scary movie you might have watched with me was Split. That was more like psychological. That was, yeah, that was psychological. That was and then Silence movie. of the Lambs, that was pretty scary for you. Uh, but again, that one was like mental because he was so smart. He predicted everything that was going to happen. But it was still, dude, still ripped somebody's face off and <laughs> ate it. <laughs> that doesn't get more scary than that. But I'm excited because uh, you guys voted for us to watch The Sixth Sense over on our Patreon poll. And I was happy you chose this one because in our Forrest Gump reaction, you guys commented down below and said that the little boy who played Young Forrest, uh, the son, is actually in this we movie. little cute boys. I don't know what they going to put that boy in a scary movie. But we're excited to get into The Sixth Sense. If you are new to the channel, hey, make sure you stick around. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn that post notification bell for Movie Monday and Film Friday. Let's go ahead and check it out, The Sixth Sense. Let's get it. Let's go. I actually read that our subscribers don't think that uh, we can handle a scary movie. They don't think we can handle it? Yeah. We're about to find out. Bruce Willis. <laughs> what about it's about jump already in a door? Or a light bulb. Man, I'm telling y'all. Yeah. My nerves are high right now. <laughs> Just started, I'm on edge. I don't like jumpy stuff. Dr. Malcolm Crow, that's your citation for professional excellence. So he's a child psychologist. Yeah, he's a big deal. I would not like it in a mug, would not like it in a jug. <laughs> <laughs> but he broke in. Ah! What the heck? Quiet. Very smart. Compassionate. Unusually compassionate. You failed me. You failed me! Yeah, I'm gonna need you to bounce. Yeah. I'm calling them cops. Let me try. You just give me a chance. Oh, ah! <laughs> Whoa! Okay. Tebber starting it off. All right. Whoa. <laughs> I know I'd be moving houses. So this said the next fall, so he survived. Yeah. That's the little kid from Forrest Gump. <laughs> Just see him swipe that. <laughs> he does swipe Mother Mary straight off, straight off of the little stand. <laughs> Quick hands. Writing his notebook, and he stills. They stayed in the same house. Mm -mm. Could not. Oh, it's the Latin he was speaking. Out of the depths I cry to you, O oh Lord. Oh, husky. Oh, honey, you got the spot. Oh, he's so adorable. Is that a clip on? <laughs> what? How do you do that that fast? Something you were looking for, baby? Pop tarts? What are you thinking, Mama? If we're dealing with ghosts, I really don't do ghost stuff, y'all. Mm -mm. Oh, he's 
He asked her, were you thinking something bad about me? I just made that up. I went with it. It's great actors do. It's called improv. Did he just call him freak, though? Mm -hmm. I was picked first for kickball teams at recess. I hit a grand slam to win the game. Everybody lifted me up on their shoulders and turned me around cheering. Mm -hmm. hey, <laughs> He's too smart. It's a mind reading game. Here's how it works. I read your mind. What I say is right, take one step towards the chair. What I say is wrong, take one step back towards the doorway. If you reach the chair, you sit down. If you reach the door, you can go. See how gentle he is with him? Very. He never forces him to do anything. Always an option. <laughs> when your mother and father were first divorced, your mom went to see a doctor like me. He didn't help her. So you think I'm not going to be able to help you. You have a secret, but you don't want to tell me. Your dad gave you that watch as a present just before he went away. <laughs> you keep pretty quiet in school, but you're a good student. You've never really been in any serious trouble. Mm. Mm. We haven't even seen him go to school. He always goes to the church. I was thinking, you're nice, but you can't help me. This little boy mm. has so much on him already from... The drawings, the, the dad leaving to being concerned with his mom thinks that he's different. What the heck is going on with different. him? I know that it makes you mad. I just feel like I'm being given a second chance and I don't want it to slip away. I think she needs it to not be about work for her. Anna. Mm -hmm. Happy anniversary. Oh, it was their anniversary. Yeah, you're in the doghouse, buddy. Because she doesn't look at me like everybody else, and I don't want her to. I don't want her to know. You know what? That I'm a freak. Hey, you are not a freak. Don't you believe anybody that tries to convince you of that? That's bullshit. You don't have to go through your life believing that, okay? Poor kid. But that guy who shot him and then himself, who was having a mental health crisis at the time, said he, he was called freak, too. Sorry. That's why this one's like so personal yeah. to him. He said they're similar in a lot of ways. An orb. Yeah, you see that? Oh, oh there's it's another in, orb. It's in so many pictures. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, it's a good one. There's an orb in all of them. What if she has to pee? So his dad left, his dad didn't pass away? Right, he, he, they keep saying went away. Oh, okay. Gosh, that makes it a little creepy. <laughs> I don't know why else his dad passed away. Feelings you had deep inside of you. Oh, wow. Yes. Upset words. Any upset words before your father left? I don't remember. Phil, do you think maybe I should stop by on my way back? Show you what I got? Is you need to go home. Who is that? It's a man. Keep moving, cheese dick. <laughs> Just thinking the same thing. Look how pretty and blue his eyes are. I'll give you a hint. It's the city you live in. A lot of generations have lived here and died here. Almost any place you go in the city has a history and a story behind it. Even this school and the grounds it sits on. Can anyone guess what the building was used for a hundred years ago? Yes, coal. They used to hang people here. This whole building was full of uh, lawyers, uh, lawmakers. They were the ones that hanged everybody. Oh, how do you handle that in a third grade setting? Ay, ay, ay. I don't, I don't know which one of these guys told you that. They were just trying to scare you. I don't like people looking at me like that. Like what? Stop it! Oh, I, uh... You shouldn't look at people, it makes them feel bad. What? Looking at me! Who have you been speaking to? Stuttering Stanley! Stuttering Stanley! Wow. 
he just read him. He knew his whole. He knew. How did he know? That was creepy. What he used to get made fun of for. That was nuts. Whoa. I don't want to talk about anything right now. Okay. He made him feel bad. The teacher called him a freak. Ugh. I do another little shake. And right back in the left hand where it's stuck. That isn't magic. <laughs> what are you talking about? Of course it's magic. Just kept the penny in that hand the whole time. <laughs> You're not going to trick this kid. He's brilliant. I love you guys. <laughs> My nose is running through This is the wedding video. It's then you do the magic shake. <laughs> He's in the penny trick. Yeah, now he's doing it. That's stupid. It's supposed to be funny. It's stupid. I want my penny back. <laughs> he hid in one of those purple plastic tunnels and didn't come out. Oh, he doesn't need to be hearing that. Look at that staircase. There, check it out. Oh, yeah. My dad made me invite him. Don't go mess with him. If they're mean to this boy, I'm going to be very upset. You get to be the one locked in the dungeon. <laughs> Come on. Are you kidding me? That's why you, you teach your kids not to be jack-offs. This makes me sick. <laughs> Is that his, that's his mom? Oh man, hey, everybody's getting their butt whooped. Mm. That's my kid, everybody. <laughs> what is wrong with them? Oh, honey, honey, can you hear me? Oh. Go find their mamas, you need to go find their mamas. <laughs> that's traumatizing, this I don't care awful. if they make my kids, I'm whipping their butt. There's some cuts and bruises on your son. Oh. Yeah, those are from sports. You don't play sports. You think I hurt my child? Because he had those unknown scratches that he has. You think I'm a bad mother? Mrs. Sloan over there? She's a social worker with the hospital. What happened to my child today? Something was happening to him, physically happening. Something was very wrong. That whole scene was just... You haven't told bedtime stories before? Uh, not too many, no. I want to tell you my secret now. I see dead people. So that's how he knew about the hanging at the school. <sighs> While you're awake? Oh, that's dead. Dead people like in graves and coffins? Walking around like regular people. They only see what they want to see. They don't know they're dead. How often do you see them? All the time. He's always scared. He can never rest. School age, schizophrenia, medication, and hospitalization may be required. He thinks it's schizophrenia. He doesn't believe that he's really seen. And I'm not helping him. That's why all those orbs were in the pictures. Yeah, because they're, they're everywhere around him. This isn't even scary. It's very interesting. What do you do, you know, as a mom? What do you do? Yeah, I I'd like to talk to you about your boy and his friends keeping their goddamn hands off my son. Yeah, because me and you about to have a problem. Mm -hmm. I ain't even calling. I'm, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm at the front door. Oh, she. Hmm. Spoke too soon. You can see his breath. Did you see how cold it is? Oh, no. Go back to your room, buddy. Run back to your room, buddy. Mama? No. Dinner is not ready. What are you gonna do? 
You can't hurt me anymore! Lenny, you're a terrible husband, Lenny! I got goosebumps. Oh, that's why he takes the pieces from the church. Oh. Once there was a boy. Very different from all the other boys. Ooh, that sent chills down my spine. And he could speak to the animals. But look at those old school cameras. What? Every time he goes to school, oh, there was a child. Come on. Oh, like even at oh, school, creepy! He Give me the chills. He couldn't even go to the restroom at home. <laughs> Mommy, it's nice Daddy, to see him just my throat hurts. <laughs> There's the commercial. Oh my gosh. Pedia Ease Cough Suppressant. <laughs> Fast. If cool. Sometimes people think they lose things. Maybe someone came in our house, took the bumblebee pendant out of my closet, and placed it nicely in your drawer. Probably, honestly. No. Oh. You've had enough roast beef. You need to leave the table. Poor boy. <laughs> oh, gosh. Hey, come on. I'll show you where my dad keeps his gun. Oh. Jeez. If you're not very mad, do I sleep in your bed tonight? Oh, baby. Look at my face. I'm not very mad. Just like, I just can't. This baby has gone through so much. Cole, what's wrong? Oh, God, please tell me. Oh, please. It's so hard. That poor baby. And you know, like, as a mom, how bad she wants to help, and she doesn't know what to do. How she doesn't know what's wrong. You, uh, <clears throat> got anything a little plainer? <laughs> plainer. <laughs> Uh, you're so beautiful. You're like a Burmese sapphire all by your... Why don't you try it on and see how you both feel about it? This man is like, if you don't stop pushing this... I know, he's like, oh, I know, I know. Let's be practical. Oh, he's done for. Did he have wavy hair and chestnut eyes? Huh? Um, I, I don't know, but... Like fingerprints. I'll just wrap it up. She made that so... You don't need a guy with a master's. You need a rest. Oh, it's that guy that stopped by the house. Thanks. What do you want more than anything? Do you see them getting comfy? Mm-hmm. Do what I want. I know what I want. I want to be able to talk to my wife again, the way we used to talk to each other, like there was no one else in the world except us. How are you going to do that? So he did that? I guess so. I haven't paid what? enough attention to my family. Bad things happen when you do that. Don't do that to him. Don't do that to him. I'm going to transfer you. I know two psychologists. Don't fail me. Don't. Don't give up. You're the only one who can help me. I know it. I can't help you. Someone else can help you. You believe me, right? never told anybody before. Believe my secret, right? I don't know how to answer that, Cole. How can you help me if you don't believe me? Some magic's real. How could he leave that boy? Mm. His old girl getting all touchy-feely with other dude. This boy is suffering. He's going back to the first guy. <laughs> you won't believe. It's cold in here. He told them when it gets cold, they're mad. And both of the boys both believe that nobody's ever gonna believe him. Did 
Did you hear that? What did it say? I don't know. I, I, it was just a sound. Like, almost like a voice, maybe. <laughs> Speaking another language. You have to go back to that baby. You have to help him. You have to believe him now. You have to. You have to believe him now. Make you feel better? I like to run around. It's good exercise. You want to ask me questions now? Want to be a Lance Corporal in Company M 3rd Battalion, 7th Marines? <laughs> We're being dispatched in the Quang Nam province. Maybe later. Something happened, didn't it? You wigging out? <laughs> you wigging out. You know what yo no quiero morir means? It's Spanish. It means I don't want to die. What do you think they want? Just help. That's right. That's what I think, too. They just want help, even the scary ones. And I think I might know a way to make them go away. How? Listen to them. What if they don't want help? What if they're just angry and they just want to hurt somebody? Because they hurt him. He yeah, has scratches. How do you know for sure? I don't. Yeah, he needs to meet up with mm -hmm. this guy. Wait, did he just come out of his house? Hey! Hey! Oh no, that's a problem. I want him to go confront the, his wife, see what's going on there. That's what I'm saying. <sighs> oh, his mom's having a nightmare. Is someone hurting you? Kick their ass. Go if they're hurting. Mm. He's such a sweet little boy. He's so sweet. His mama loves him so much too. Oh, uh oh. He gets no rest. Oh. <laughs> God, I'm telling you, it's tough. Okay. I don't understand how you watch scary movies like this. Yeah, I'm cool with everything but seeing the people. I'm feeling much better now. Do you want to tell me something? Wow. See how much courage that takes. Mmm. I'm not even looking in the graveyard. I'm looking at the cemetery. Whose funeral are they at? So the little girl talked to him? And I'm guessing that's the funeral they went to. Because he, he said she came a long way to see me. Mm -hmm. I just can't imagine a child being in bed for two weeks. Yeah, there she is. They said the younger sister is getting sick. It's her room. <laughs> He's helping her. She led him to the box. So this is how he's gonna break the curse is I guess by helping him. Are you Kara's daddy? It's for you. She wanted to tell you something. What is it? I know, I'm, I'm ready to see. The VHS. She was poisoned. Is that their mother? 
That's sick. That's their mother. You know how long she had to poison? For lunch, Kira. Oh, that's sickening. That's so great, honey. Instead of your food. Like, it really leaves me with a really sick feeling in my stomach. Don't say that it tastes funny, you know? I don't like to hear that. What an absolute piece of trash. Sammy's mom called. Absolute piece of trash. She killed her daughter. You were keeping her sick. She deserves to rot in hell. You liked it, she said. Sick. You just probably saved this little girl's life. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I think that's enough. That's enough makeup. Okay. This little boy has the gift to help mm. spirits pass on finally. Wow. Who, uh, who were you talking to? Just practicing my lines. You know, when I went to school here, there was a terrible fire in the section of the theater. They rebuilt the whole thing. Just saw the burn victim. Mm -hmm. But he's a stable boy. He cleans up after the horses. Silence, village idiot. <laughs> Let the boy step forward. Yeah. He's being carried and all off. his friends picked him up and carried him around while they cheered. I thought you were really great in the play call. Really? Yeah. Mm, look at him. Look at that smile. What? I thought Tommy Tomasimo sucked big time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I got an idea how you can talk to your wife. Wait till she's asleep. Then she'll listen to you and she won't even know it. Not gonna see you anymore, am I? I think we said everything we needed to say. Maybe it's time to say thanks to someone closer to you. Maybe we can pretend like we're gonna see each other tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> Just for pretend. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna go now. I'll see you tomorrow, Cole. Jeez, I hope nobody got hurt. I'm ready to communicate with you now. Communicate? I'll tell you my secrets. What is it? You know the accident up there? Yeah. Someone got hurt. They did? A lady. She died. My God, but you can see her? Yes. Where is she? Standing next to my window. Oh, you're scaring me. They scare mm. me too sometimes. They? Ghosts. You see ghosts, Cole? They want me to do things for them. <laughs> they, they talk to you? How are you taking that as a parent? They tell you to do things? They're the ones that used to hurt me. What are you thinking, Mama? You think I'm a freak? Look at my face. I would never think that about you. <laughs> Ever. That's very mama. Got it? Got it. Just let me think for a minute. Just let her take it. It's a lie. Grandma says hi. She says she's sorry for taking the bumblebee pendant. <laughs> she just likes it a lot. What? Grandma comes to visit me sometimes. Oh, that's very wrong. She wanted me to tell you. Oh, please. She wanted me to tell you she saw you dance. She said when you were little, you and her had a fight. Right before your dance recital, you thought she didn't come to see you mm, dance. That almost makes you tear up. She did. No. She hid in the back so you wouldn't see. She said you were like an angel. This boy is a gift. <laughs> she said. You came to the place where they buried her. Asked her a question. She said, the answer is... Every day. What did you ask? This makes you sad because we all have family members that passed that we want answers from. Do I make her proud? Oh. <laughs> Hi, everybody. As uh, most of you know, I'm not used to doing this. And... Uh... She's still watching their wedding tapes. Yeah, you need to confront her still. Yeah, you need to talk. I miss you. I miss you too. Why, Malcolm? What? What is it? What? Why did you leave me? I didn't leave you. Is that a wedding ring? I see people. He didn't live. 
he didn't make it from All his time. From his gunshot. Cole was helping him the whole time. Cole was helping him the whole time. Oh. He didn't survive the gunshot. My gosh. They only see what they want to see. That's why she didn't speak at the Thank you. That's why she's always watching a wedding video. Give me a minute. That's why their wedding video is always on. Oh, That's why that guy's been in and out of the house. Holy cow. Oh my gosh, my mind is blown. So now he's just realizing he's dead. Survive a gunshot. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, God. I think I'm okay, really. I think it just went. When did it happen? It doesn't even hurt anymore. What a freaking curveball. Do you think Cole knew he was helping a ghost? I don't know. I think I can go now. But he said talk to her when she's asleep. She has to hear you. Just needed to do a couple things. And he needed to redeem himself from the little, from the incident he had by not helping the first boy. And I needed to tell you something. You were never second. Oh. Ever. You sleep now. Everything will be different in the morning. Good night, Malcolm. Oh, that is... I was cannot not expect, believe. I was not expecting that at the end. No, that's what I'm saying. I I thought it was over. He helped the little boy. And I come to find out he was dead. Completely switched the yeah. whole movie around in my head. <laughs> I already had so much to talk about before that moment, but that moment at the end completely, like, absolutely drove the movie to, like, top tier. It was so good. The writing was so good. I just, I just want to know if you guys think Cole knew the whole time that he was helping him. I have no idea, guys, but drop down in the comments. Thank y'all yeah. so, so much. I thought it was going to be a lot scarier, though. No, but the thing is, is, like, it was trippy. It did have those moments. I love mm. it because it was about spirits and visitations, and, you know, I have my crystals mm. on me. So I thought that that was a, a really, really cool uh, storyline, but I think the little boy's acting was oh, impeccable. Was it Absolutely was impeccable, amazing. and the storyline was absolutely fantastic. It, I, it did make you jump a little bit. A couple times it got me, but... I want to be. I really want to be tested. Give me something that's like for real, for real scary. No, I, I just think that one. You guys knew us pretty well when you suggested it because I think the storyline was perfect, and that's what we needed. But guys, hey, that's it from us today. As we always send you out of here, we love you, we thank you, we appreciate you. Remember, every single day that you wake up, it is a blessing, and that you are blessed. And for your new fan members, to hit the subscribe button. You guys have a goal every day, just like we do. Tell them that goal, ma. Gotta make somebody smile, y'all. We love you guys. Until next time, we'll see y'all later.